Hi guys, it's Simon Arcee of his Gold Coast and uh, I'm going to talk today about uh, a monster truck. It's a one kemp scale monster truck. It looks a little bit bigger, but it's marketed that way. Now the brand of this uh, monster truck is a company called Techno. Okay, so that is the brand Techno. Now I'll tell you a little bit about Techno from my experience. Um, I've been doing this for a long, long time as most of you know. Techno's been around for probably 10 plus years, probably a little bit longer. Now, Techno is a company that started by making aftermarket parts for RC cars that basically weren't manufactured properly. And that's where Techno came into the game. So they started off making pop-up parts for like, I'll drag something off the wall here. Um, here's a Traxxas car made by Techno. So here's the rear drive shaft for a Traxxas car. So they've made a proper quality CBD drive shaft for a Traxxas and many, many other brands. Now originally my first involvement was Techno was conversion kits, conversion kit for 1.8 scale cars to make them into uh, brushless electric. So going back 10 years ago I'd done a number of 1.8 um, scale truggies which were nitro powered cars and Techno provided a kit which was your chassis, your engine mounts and all that stuff to convert that car to electric and we did many, many of them, many hundred happy customers with them. And then probably about four or five years later, I'd say Techno introduced their first race cars. Their first race cars were uh, one temp scale short course trucks and many, many others followed after that. So yeah, I raced um, one of Techno's short course trucks, their first ones in the country and did really, really well with it. Uh, we managed to get third at the Australian titles down in uh, Mildura with one of their cars. Fantastic product. We have a racetrack here and many, many Technos race downstairs. So the product itself is fantastic. So yeah, Technos a company now that has many, many of their own kits, so they offer everything. But today, today what we're going to talk about is their monster truck variety. One of the most commonly used for people that have acreage, want to go down the park and have a good time. So yeah, this is the car. All of these are uh, one temp scale uh, Techno monster trucks. Now the car's not actually sold as RDR. RDR means ready to run, okay? So it's not sold in that format, it's sold as a kit form. So right here, this is how you get the original truck. So here's a Techno kit, which you'd have to build. So you'd open the box, and you go, here's the chassis, here's all the components, lots and lots of bits and pieces, and that's how the car is offered which is fantastic for people that want to build their own car. Uh, it's a very, very well thought out kit. Quality parts all the way through. Um, but what's missing in that kit? I'll tell you about that. So when you buy, you're going to need your electronics, okay? You're going to need a battery, you're going to need a steering servo and all that sort of stuff. Now this is where the price of the kit will vary. You can pick the kit up. Now, I won't quote an exact price because what will change is as the dollar changes, the Australian dollar, the kit will vary. But if you can work on around 650 to around 750, the kit will cost somewhere around there, depending on what we're paying at the dollar time. Uh, this video could be on this website for quite a fair while, so it will vary the price. You just call when you want one. Okay, so tyre-wise, many different varieties. Um, this particular one here has got a Proline Badlands. The height of this tyre uh, in diameter is around the 150 mil. Now that's a nice lightweight wheel, so if the car's crashing and stuff like that, there's not a lot of rotating mass going on. Then you have some other varieties. This one here is called a trencher, very wide, nearly 100 mil wide. Uh, it's up around the 170 mil in diameter. Now, what's the cons about that one? If the car's going to crash a lot, that will help with bouncing so it doesn't hit parts of the car. Uh, tons of traction, untold amounts of traction. Similar one here, a little bit narrow on the carcass. This is a Proline Rock Rage. A little bit taller again. This one pushes probably another 10 mil taller than the uh, Trencher. Both great tyres. Uh, for bashing, just unbelievably good tyres. This one here is just your lighter weight tyre. Maybe if you're jumping the car a lot, this car here is probably a little bit more aerobatic because it hasn't got that inertia of the big tyre flying. But these look ultimately cool. So it's totally up to you what you want on wheel-wise, okay? Many different varieties. So if you do the match yourself, if you haven't got all your own gear, this car will hit in Australian dollars, if you have nothing, anywhere between minimum $1,500 up to $2,500. And that's just the truth. By the time you add up all your equipment, all your gear, if you don't have it, that's what the car will cost. Now remember, if you've got an existing car like a Traxxas Revo or something like that and you want to pull your gear out of there and put it into this, 
well, the car's not going to cost that much to convert. So they're the facts on the cost of the car. And as I said, it all depends on what the dollars are at the current time, okay? Talk about durability of the car. We'll have a bit of a zoom in here. Have a close look in here. These are the shock cows. This car comes standard with 7075 shock cows front and rear. The quality of them is just mind-blowing good. It's just so nice. Shockies on them. Massive big bore shocks, unbelievably good shocks. Engine mount, I'm gonna have a close up here. Let's have a look at this engine mount here. Now, one of the nicest engine mounts I've ever seen. Not only that, it bolts in through the top for easy adjustment. If we flip it around, you can actually tighten it at the bottom. So, Techno, I've just thought about this thing, Barna is the best. Chassis, 7075, it's the best you can get. Um, more detail on the thing. The car has three oil full diffs, so you run a center diff, a rear diff and a front diff. Um, they come with heavy silicon in the box. Very heavy because um, it's designed as a monster truck, but you could change it for racing if you wanted to. 99% of people won't be racing the car. They're just going to be having a good time with the car. As I did, I took one out and gave it a, a mighty good fraction. I thank one of my customers, Kent. He borrowed us uh, the car. Now, if we have a look over here, here's one that we took out today. You'll see that in the video. Here's what a monster truck looks like that's had a great time. We took this thing out and gave it pretty good carry. We'll pull the body off. Now, body's been through hell. We did do some big landings and jumps. If you have a look here, that's a broken body mount. Now, here's a whole body mount set. It's gonna cost you 20 bucks to replace the body mounts. The, the hiding I gave this car in the uh, video that you'll see, most cars wouldn't survive any of that. They'd just fall apart. What does this car need? It needs a clean, a detail, a new body mount, uh, a bit of a clean. That's it. That's as it's come from a bash. Most cars would not take anything that this car took. But this car will keep doing that and it'll keep coming back for more. Let's talk about spare parts now. Okay, so spare parts for the Techno MT410. Now we keep a full range of spare parts here for it. Like everything you could want for this car is in stock, okay? And always will be. Uh, now let's look at the price of parts, like a centre drive shaft on the car. So here's your centre drive shaft that runs through here, a bit hard to see, but that's in there. If you wall the thing out, 28 bucks. Um, rear drive shaft, if you broke that, 22 bucks. Uh, front steering blocks, $22. Caster blocks, $22. Rear hub carriers, $20. Whole new front bumper, $22. Now I can tell you the parts for this car, extremely reasonable on price. What are you likely to break? Most common stuff on this car will be body mounts. From people landing wrong and smashing the thing down on the roof and bodies, you're gonna go through that sort of stuff. Tires, you're gonna wear them out. Um, if you're nice to the car and you buy a radio of EPA, you can turn down. So if you gave it to a, a younger person to drive, turn all the power down. I don't think you'll ever break anything on this car because it's just so tough. Uh, my experience with Techno's arm-wise, I've got arms in stock, but I've never ever sold a set of arms for one of these cars. And that gives you a bit of an idea. I've done a lot of techno stuff, especially with the short course. Never sold a set of arms, because they're just too tough. Um, to pull the axles out in these, the CVDs, they actually have, uh, on the CVD, you can remove the pin. That's something that will wear, and you can swap the pin to another hole. So if the CVDs wear, you can change stuff like that. So. As I said, there is nothing better that I've seen in the last 10 years than this, what this company has released, the Techno MT410. It's based off a race car, which is a proven winning platform. If you check out online, someone like Ryan Lutz, who drives the Team Techno, uh, that guy's at the top of his game and he's winning with their Team Techno cars, like at the, at the most extreme top level. So it is a competitive base heritage of a race car. As I said, probably one of the best things you can get. Uh, there's a few other things which I like, which we keep in stock. We have an optional wheelie bar, which goes on the back. Uh, so if something you want, we can set it up for you. So a wheelie bar that goes on the back of it. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I can tell you. Um, will the car climb a tree? Yes. Will it jump huge? Yes. Will you have fun with it? Guaranteed. Is it expensive? Yes, it is. Okay, but this isn't aimed at the ready to run market. This is aimed for somebody who wants quality. If you want quality, this is it. Now, if you do want one of these cars by RC Hobbies Gold Coast, the best thing you can do if you're serious, you come and see me. We're happy to help you out with whatever package you want. Remember, that package varies on how we're going to fit it out. If you want the dearest remote, you want a heavier servo, 
you want different wheels, you want a custom color body, we're happy to build it for you to whatever specifications you want. But the reality is if you have nothing, this is well over a $2,000 remote control car, it just is. Uh, and if you price around a lot of stuff on the market, sure you can get something around eight, nine hundred dollars a thousand, but it's a car that you're gonna have to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So to me, this is a high-end car, but it's the best car you can buy, okay? And that's come from someone that's dealt with this for well over 10 years. So guys, if you can, if you're looking at this video and you're anywhere in Australia and you want to deal with one of these, you want to get one, you've got a big farm, you've got acreage, and you want something that is the most fun you can have with fantastic parts back up and rock solid car, uh, get on the phone, give me a call, and we'll help you whichever way we can. Whether you want parts or you already have your own, you need something, you need electronics, I'm here to help you. As I said, prices do vary, as the dollar varies too, uh, but we'll do our best to help you out with this vehicle, okay? So that's Simon from RC Hobbies Gold Coast. Love to hear from you, and if you want one of the best things you can buy, this is the beast for you. Thanks, guys. Will the techno exceed your expectations? Will the techno jump? Will the techno climb a tree? Will the techno do a backflip? Will it take a beating? Is the techno the best thing you're ever going to buy? Yes! You should have one.